So how the story goes is that Archimedes was commissioned to figure out whether the crown of possibly all gold was in fact all gold by his king from the city-state. So what he did was, probably, we don't know for sure because essentially he was in love with fulcrums and levers. We're guessing that a, a fulcrum or a lever like this was used. So he balanced the crown, which we think might be alloyed with a less dense um, uh, metal like silver. And we took the same mass of the crown and we put the same mass of gold. Now because the crown has an intricate shape, it's hard to figure out and look at it and say, hey, that's a different volume. But here you can see that I have two objects. This one has a lot more volume because it's less dense here. Uh, we have aluminum, which has a lot of volume for its mass. And I have iron, which has a lot less uh, volume for its mass. But they're about the same mass because I'm balancing them. Okay, now the strings are differently different, but that's okay. So essentially, by, by measuring out the same amount of, or balancing out the same amount of um, gold, as the alloyed gold or the pure gold, we think that um, Archimedes tested the, um, this problem out and found the answer by using the, his Archimedes principle of buoyancy. So what he probably did, and we're guessing, is that he took these two pieces of metal that have the same mass, but probably different density, okay, and by submerging them, because they have the same weight downward, what they're going to have is a different buoyancy force upward. If this has more volume, if the crown was in fact alloyed with a um, cheaper metal that was less dense than gold, it would have a greater volume than the same amount of mass of gold, which is more dense. So when we test this and submerge this, although they have the same weight down, the one with the greater volume will have the greater buoyancy, buoyant force, and that will tell us which one is less dense. So what we think is he took the pure gold and submerged it, and took the pure, well, at least they thought pure crown, maybe, and submerged it, and what they might see is that the one, and I'm not pushing off on these, the one with the less dense would come up because it is more buoyant, because it has a greater volume. It has to have a greater volume for the same mass if it's made of less dense metals. And of course the crown had some alloyed metals in it. At least we think it was, and of course this is the result you would get. A greater buoyant force and now you have an unequal amount of force upward. So a little cool demonstration how we think uh, Archimedes solved his problem, or the problem of the king and the crown.